Hi, welcome to our how-to video series on Centerprise Data Integrator. In this video, we will learn how to use an XML file as a source and destination in a data flow. The XML file source in Centerprise provides a high-speed reader for XML or JSON files in which the data is stored in a hierarchical format within several nodes and subnodes. Let's see how it works. Find the XML JSON file source in the Sources section in the toolbox and drop it onto the Dataflow Designer. Now right-click on the XML JSON source object and go to Properties from the list. Now point the path to where your XML JSON file is located. Next you have to point the path to your schema file. A schema is an XSD file that controls the layout or skeleton of an XML file. If your source file is in JSON format, you can specify it here by checking this box. Now click Next to proceed to the next screen. You can see the source node on the left. When you expand this node, you will see the layout of your source file. Our source object is now ready, so we can click OK and exit this screen. Now if you look at the source object, you can see these parent and tree nodes and the fields listed under each. Now let's go ahead and preview our source data. You can see that the XML JSON source object has successfully retrieved data from our source file. So that's how you can retrieve your data from an XML file in Centerprise. Now if you want to load your data to an XML destination, you can do that using an XML JSON destination in Centerprise. Let's see how it works with a new example. Here we have some sample data about sales orders sorted in a hierarchical format using the tree join transformation. If we preview this data, you can see that it has a hierarchical structure with each record returned in a separate node and subnode. Now to write this data to a hierarchical destination, drag the XML destination object from the destination section of the toolbox and drop it onto the designer. If you look at this XML destination object, you can see that it doesn't have any layout as of now. That's because hierarchical file destinations such as XML read layout from a schema. So before we write a hierarchical dataset to an XML target, we need to generate a schema file for layout. Centerprise provides you with the flexibility to generate XSD schema files for any hierarchical dataset at any point in a data flow. As in this example, we need to generate a new schema to be able to write our data into a hierarchical destination. For this, right-click on this transformation object. In the context menu, there's an option, Generate XML Schema for Layout. Click this option and it will open a new window where you have to provide the name and point the path to where you want to save your schema file. Let's name it as Output Schema and click Save. Now if you want to look at your schema file, go to File menu, click Open and point the path to where you have stored your schema file. This will open the schema in Centerprise and if you look at it, you can see that it has described the elements of the dataset within these nodes and subnodes. You can even edit and modify your schema in Centerprise and click Save. In this example, we'll work with the same XSD file and use it as a schema for our XML target. Let's go back to the data flow. Right-click on the XML destination object and go to Properties from the list. Point the path to the directory and folder where you want to store your XML destination file. Name the file and click Save. Now point the path to the schema file we created for our XML target. Select the root element from the list and click Next. This brings us to the Layout Builder screen where you can see all the fields listed within the node and subnodes under the root node, as represented in our schema. Our target layout is ready, so we can click OK. Now map the fields from your source dataset 
which is a transformation in this example to the XML destination. Now click the run button to generate your XML file. Our output file has been generated. Now let's look at it. Go to the file menu, click open and point the path to your output XML file. This will open the XML file in a new tab and if we look at it, you can see that we have all sales orders returned in a separate parent node and within each sales order, we have the details of the orders in a collection node. So that's how you can create a hierarchical destination file in Centerprise using an XML destination object. You may also visit our support site for more information on setting up different sources and destinations in Centerprise. Thank you for watching this video.